A terrified child, only ten summers old, burst through the grand bronze doors of the hallowed library, his young voice echoing through the vast expanse. Sanctuary! Following closely, a guard, resplendent in his crimson uniform, sneered with imperious disdain. Your plea is futile, boy. Only holy places can offer asylum. A muffled silence hung in the library as the scholars looked up from their parchment, each eyeing the other knowingly. An unspoken understanding flitted between them. The head librarian, a woman of slight stature, paused and twirled her quill thoughtfully. The feather struggled against the weight of the child's transgressions. Seeking sanctuary in the sacred place of Seishat meant accepting her judgment. The nauseating, swampy breath of Amit wafted over her, raising goosebumps on her skin. For a fleeting moment, she feared the worst. However, as she lifted her quill, it swayed back to point at the frightened boy. Sanctuary granted, she affirmed, a subtle smile gracing her lips as she drew strength from her patron's judgment. Visibly taken aback, the guard indignantly protested, This is a library. You lack the authority to grant sanctuary. Unfazed by his abrupt manner, the head librarian gently replied, the word sanctuary is derived from the Latin sanctuarium, which refers to a sacred place. Throughout history, knowledge has been considered sacred. As a repository of wisdom, this library has the right to offer sanctuary. Without diverting her calm gaze from the guard, she asked firmly, What crime has the child committed? The guard stuttered, discomfort flickering across his face. He dared to question the king's rule. He spoke against his majesty's conquests, called them wasteful. The room was utterly silent, broken only by the soft crackle of burning torches. Unwavering, the head librarian declared, to speak the truth is not a transgression, rather it is a sacred duty. By the divine principles of my goddess he stands innocent. The head librarian fixed her gaze on the giant bronze doors and said firmly, I suggest you leave. The guard's face contorted with rage as he reached to grab the child. He retorted, I serve the king and care not for your mythical deities. This is no temple and you hold no sanctuary rights. The head librarian sighed and clasped her head as she acted as a conduit between this world and the beyond. She felt the will of her patron as the building filled with rustling books and the whispers of a thousand forgotten languages. Amnesty, declared a voice woven from the countless stories recorded within the walls. As the guard met her gaze, he sensed the inevitability of his own end drawing near as her quill once more started to spin. His courage drained, he let out a desperate yelp and darted out of the library, leaving the child behind. With tears in his eyes, the child ran to the head librarian for comfort. She reassured him that the library is a safe sanctuary for those who seek knowledge and respect its sanctity.